How are Hi. you? So, um, Jamie Edwards. Yes. You are the CEO of Cloudbreak Health. Correct. That's right. And so we were um, reading a little bit on your website earlier about Cloudbreak Health, and I know one of your initiatives is to use technology to humanize healthcare. Yeah. So tell me what that means. What's humanized healthcare? Humanizing healthcare is all about the fact that patients are people and physicians are people. And the way the healthcare system is currently structured, we kind of forget that, right? A doctor is very focused on how to get through his day and see as many patients as possible. The patient is sitting there waiting in the waiting room, and sometimes that wait can be 20, 30 minutes, and they're upset at the doctor when they come in. It's the stories behind these people that really is about humanizing healthcare, and we take our physicians for granted. Mm -hmm. So when doctors are burnt out, our view as a company is that if we solve the physician problem and we restore joy back to the practice of medicine, they'll actually start treating their patients better and start treating their patients more like people. The fact is, is that physician burnout is a huge issue in our country. And um, doctors are now, because of the burnout, taking a look at patients like they're objects instead of people and vice versa. So it's about restoring humanity back to healthcare and using technology to do that. And if we make the technology really easy to use and actually help have it enable care, yeah. we'll be able to accomplish that. That's what we try and do as a company. So tell me a little bit more about how, I mean, broadly speaking, you know, how do you use technology to, to make care more personal? Because it almost seems counterintuitive in a sense. Right, right. So well, how do you do that? What's the, what's the magic? Yeah, one of the, it's a great question. One of the things that we try to do is actually, you know, we're very telemedicine focused as a business. Okay. We see telemedicine as a huge opportunity to actually connect people um, instead of having technology get in the way. You know, if you took a look at the electronic medical record and how it evolved, it's one of those things that's actually gotten in the way of care. No one's really figured out how to use the data from it yet. Right. Eventually, it'll get to the point where it helps facilitate care. Right now, it's getting in the way. But telemedicine can actually help connect us. I could be a doctor 3,000 miles away from you right. and help you solve your problem without you ever leaving your home. Or a rural hospital that might not be able to have the same access to call panel, a neurologist, a psychiatrist, whoever it might be, mm -hmm. can now have access to those services over telemedicine and keep the patient connected to their community and not have them have to drive two or three hours to receive the care they would need or, as the industry would say, be transferred to a higher level of care. Right. So for us, it's all about building that connectivity and it's amazing. You know, it's different than a phone call. When you add sight, like we all love FaceTiming yeah. with our kids or FaceTiming with our significant others when we're traveling. Telemedicine helps you actually accomplish that same type of connectivity. Excellent. So um, talk to me a little bit more about some of the things that you're seeing in terms of trends that are moving innovation forward. So either, you know, beyond telemedicine, I'd like sure. you to speak broadly. So, I mean, what kinds of exponential technologies do you think are really going to lead us to the future of healthcare? Well, that's what this conference is all about, right? right? And Guidewell having their booth here and doing these interviews is a primary example of getting the innovative word out, right? Um, whether it's artificial intelligence, we're seeing a lot of different things happening in that space that are really, really exciting. Is it ready for prime time yet? Maybe, maybe not, but they're starting to make a lot of advancements with a lot of great companies who are integrating it into care protocols and how we actually evaluate big data and do that analysis, right. that's really exciting. Um, 3D printing, man, the ability to actually create customized um, you know, casts or cast. splints or whatever it might Using be. Prosthetics. Right, yeah. super, super exciting from that perspective. You know, uh, actually data analytics just in general and big data. We haven't quite figured out what to do with all this data yet. Right. And the key to making big data useful is to make it small. But there's a lot of companies here in the uh, innovation lab who are taking a look at doing that for diabetes or other types of chronic care conditions that end up being really helpful. So there's a lot of revolutionary technologies out there, like these right. exponential ones, and then the evolutionary ones like text, email, and the things that we do in telemedicine. So what area of healthcare do you think needs to be disrupted next? Uh, it's a great, great question. Um, you know, for us, I, I'll be telemedicine focused. I think the opportunity to build what we're seeing in the marketplace that we're calling branded care networks. Okay. So breaking down the four walls of the hospital and extending a full care continuum to a patient where they are. Mm -hmm. A great example of this is the uh, LGBT community or the transgender community. Okay. Uh, the fact of the matter is, is that right now they typically have to drive two to three hours to find care, right? But with telemedicine, they can get that care in their community. Those resources might not have existed for them before. Um, for me, I think the electronic medical record is primed to be disrupted in a very effective way. And there are technologies like blockchain that can really help do that and push that forward, which I think are really exciting. Excellent. 
So what has you most optimistic about the future of healthcare? Wrap us up on that. I think conferences like this, okay. right? The fact that people are having the discussion about how to push the ball forward. Healthcare is very entrenched in the status quo. And because lives are on the line, uh, people tend to be very risk averse. But we're starting to see a lot of talent coming into healthcare is pushing the envelope, or whether that's from internally or Silicon Valley, or people like me who got into healthcare from investment banking and private equity, right? You're seeing all this knowledge gravitate towards how do we make the system better? People realize that it's broken and they want to fix it, yeah. and that's a step in the right direction. Jamie, thank you so much for joining us here in the Insights Lounge. I'm going to just say one last goodbye to our um, live stream viewers. I want to encourage you, while the main stage is broadcast live after we go dark, um, please keep tweeting us. We've been um, enjoying following the conversation on Twitter at hashtag XMed. And don't forget to tag at Exponential Medicine or tag at underscore Guidewell. Um, we, love to, we love when you guys shout us out. Um, we're so happy that you've joined us up until this point, and we want to make sure that you enjoy the end of the conference. Um, while we are um, going dark now, um, until the main stage goes live again, you're going to see some of the great interviews that we've filmed um, over the course of the last four days here in the Insights Lounge. Um, so you'll enjoy those. And if you want to look for the rest of them, there are about 60 of them on our YouTube channel. So all you need to do is go to YouTube.com and search Guidewell. And you can find all of the interviews. We had so many great main stage speakers here. We had attendees. I mean, we really talked to almost everybody and heard some very insightful remarks. So um, you can look for those. We have one coming up next. Before I go, I just want to say a big thank you to everybody who's watched our live stream powered by Guidewell. I'd like to thank the crew for their support. I'd like to thank all of our guests who joined us here live as well as in our recorded interviews. Enjoy the next interview. Thank you so much. This is Jessica DeMassa from the Guidewell Insights Lounge at Singularity University Exponential Medicine. Thanks so much for joining us.